Now, um, this equation here relates three state functions together, the pressure, the volume, and the temperature. So if you remember, we said that if you had a substance, if you knew the number of moles and two properties, you knew everything about the gas, which means that you can rewrite this in the form volume, for instance, is equal to a function of n p t. In this case, v is equal to r n r t over p. Right? Have two quantities and the number of moles gives you another property. You don't need to know the volume. All you need to know is the pressure and temperature and the number of moles to get the volume. This is called an equation of state. It relates state properties to each other. In this case, it relates the volume to the pressure and the temperature. Now, if you're an engineer and you um, use the ideal gas law to design a chemical plant or a boiler or ele electrical plant, you know, steam, steam plant, you're going to be in big trouble. Your, your plant's going to blow up because the ideal gas law is, works only in very small range of pressures and temperatures for most gases. So we have other functions, equations of states for real gases. This is an equation of state for an ideal gases. For real gases, there's a whole bunch of equations of states that you can find in textbooks. And I'm just going to go through a few of them. Uh, the first one it uses something called the compressibility factor. Z, okay? Compressibility factor Z, and instead of writing P V is equal to R T, which would be the ideal gas law, we put a fudge factor in there, right? And the fudge factor is called Z. And now we can put real instead of ideal for our volume. Right? Z is the compressibility factor, and Z is the ratio of the volume of the real gas divided by what it would be were it an ideal gas. Right. So if Z is less than one, then the real gas is more compact than the, than the ideal gas. It's a smaller volume. If Z is greater than one, then the real gas means that the atoms and molecules in the real gas are repelling each other and wants to have a, high, a bigger volume. And you can find these compressibility factors in tables. You want to know the compressibility factors for water, for steam, at a certain pressure and temperature, you go to a table and you find it. So that's one uh, example of a, of a real uh, equation of state. 